Welcome to C Programming Tutorial. Um, this tutorial is actually the continuation of the previous tutorial. It, it's a part two of the previous tutorial where I've, I'm trying to explain the if statements. Even we are trying to write a program uh, that would basically input a number from the user and then based on that number, if it is positive, which means that if it is greater than zero, it will say your number is positive. If it is equal to zero, it will say your number is zero. And if it is less than zero, in other words, if it is negative, it will say your number is negative. And and so far we have got to the point where basically we are, we have uh, we have said that okay, if the number is greater than zero, print f this your this message your number is positive um, notice that how uh, and this is how if statement works if you write the if and then followed by the condition and then followed by the statement and if the condition evaluates to be true the statement statement is executed if the condition evaluates to be false the statement is skipped um, now there is before I start continue with this program uh, look at this uh, there is uh, something called indentation in in the program and it is very important and even though it is just purely cosmetic it's for human beings not for computers now look look how how if and all these things are very nicely aligned this is how you should do it you should align all these lines together okay all the initial lines all the start of the statements new statements should be aligned right here but this whole thing is considered to be one single statement the con the statement that comes after the condition which is actually the part of the if statement it should not be written like this it should be indented to show that it is actually part of the if statement okay this indentation even if you will write it here the compiler is not going to give you any error it will just compile fine it will run fine so it has nothing to do with computer it has nothing to do with compilers it has to do with you and me as programmers and uh, as software engineers what what we have to do we have to indent them so because it looks good it makes it easy for us to read it makes it it tells us just by looking at it i can tell that this printf is actually the part of if why because it is not aligned with if it is one level above if indented anyway so continue with our program next thing we have to do is to basically write the second condition if number is equal to zero now a lot of time people make this mistake you will write only one equal to I trust me you will do that and this is bad this is bad what 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 does it do what it does is it says that assign the value of zero to number and what it means is that it will basically whatever the user has entered if the user has entered 10 it will basically change its value to 0 because this equal to is the assignment operator when you when it's single equal to sign it's an assignment operator in other words it basically assigns oops it basically assigns the value to to that variable but if you write 2 equal to that's the comparison operator that compares the value of number to zero whether the number is zero or not and it will be true if it is equal to zero and if it is so then what we have to do we have to print this message your number is zero okay if it is not zero if the value of number is not zero this statement will be skipped so this message will never be printed similarly this message will not be printed if the user entered a negative number and what is do we have to do the last case if number is negative and how do you say if the number is negative if it is less than zero if the number is less than zero we, what you have to do we have to write this message number is negative and as we said before the backslash n basically brings your cursor to the next line on the screen uh, when the program will be executing so here it is so this is our program based on our requirements the requirement was to input a number we are inputting a number if the number is positive which means that if the number is greater than zero you print this message your number is positive if the number is equal to zero you print this message your number is zero if the number is less than zero you print this message number is negative for any given number that the user enters notice that only one of these conditions will be true the other conditions are not going to be true 
so it will only display one message the other messages will be skipped because those their conditions will be false so let's try to run the program and how do you run the program what I do normally is to press F9 but you could come here and click on compile and run so here it is okay I wonder why it's displaying on top of it okay never mind we will tap this guy so it's asking to enter the number okay so we will enter a number what number should we enter let's start with zero so we start with zero it says your number is zero great why does it say your number is zero? because we entered zero here the computer came here the value of number became zero the computer came here is zero greater than zero no zero is equal to zero zero is not greater than zero so it skips this thing why because this condition is false then it comes here evaluates this condition is zero is equal to zero yes zero is equal to zero so it dis executes this um, statement which is basically because the condition was true so it executes this statement which says print this message on the screen what message your number is zero then it comes here it doesn't stop here it comes here because it's gonna execute each and every statement here it comes here if number is less than zero so it says zero is less than zero no it's false so this condition is false so it skips this statement so it doesn't print this message so only message that we, sh we that we see is basically this message your number is zero uh, so let's try let's try try it one more time and see what what it says um, let's enter um, this thing is a little bit acting up on me uh, enter a number so what number sh are we going to enter let's see we are going to enter uh, some positive number this time five see it says your number is positive da da so our program is working great so let's run that program one more time and this time we are going to enter this time we are going to enter a negative number minus 10 oh 109 we'll write minus 109 so it should say your number is negative so you see how in our program we basically a small piece of program we basically using if statement we made it to decide based on the value of number which message to display on the screen so this is this tutorial basically simply shows the the use of uh, of the of the if statement uh, in the next tutorial we will see now there is another thing about if statement um, let's see if I can finish it within in time if you have multiple statements that you want to execute if this condition is true what if this, if this condition is true you want to execute more than just one statement so if you write if you if you want to say suppose I don't know maybe like something like X is equal to 3 you want X to be equal to 3 if this is the case if the user enters uh, uh, if the user enters a negative number you want X to be equal to 3 so here if the user says X number you know you say if number is less than 0 print F this message and then also make X equal to 3 what's gonna happen see the compiler does not know about indentation so either you write it here or you write it here it doesn't matter what it's gonna do is it's gonna skip only one statement but it will execute this next statement so if to group these two statements together what you can do is to use braces and then in within those braces you could basically within those braces you could basically write as many statements as you want and they will all be either executed if the condition is true or they will all be skipped if the condition is false anyway we are, our time is up please continue to watch the videos thank you